Hello everyone, this is the Car Productions 5, back with another video, and today I'm doing a review on Stormer 3.0. Yes, my second Hero Factory 3.0 set review. Um, I did them, I'm doing them in the order of my original favorites before I got them, but a few of them changed a little, but, well, actually really, they change on the mood I'm in, basically. Like, sometimes I'll be, I'll be playing with Stringler a lot, then I'll be playing with Rock a lot, and so on, so it depends, but I'll just do them in this order, because all of them are really awesome. So let's start going with the review. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Stormer 3.0, right across the bottom. Like every hero, they every hero has their name right across the bottom. Then we have ages 6 to 16, set number 2145, 31 pieces. And now this is new, they're abbreviating pieces with PCS or PZS. It is a building toy. Uh, then you have the Creep Crusher game code here. You have to go to herefactory.lego.com. It shows a little picture right here showing uh, at the bottom of the uh, lid. You type in the code online. And uh, we have an H right here. Um, Stormer in an awesome pose. And like Rockus Canister had like the skulls in it in Witch Doctor and here we have Scorpio in the background. It's kinda hard to see, but if you get the right angle you kinda see like a scorpion in a tail. Um what else do we have? Then over here we have more Scorpios right here. There's one right here and two or one right there. And then we have a blue glowing stone right here, which I believe is Quaza. Um, yeah, that's with the box, and yeah. Now going to the back, we have Rock on Stormer getting this awesome combiner set. Um, we have the little comic here, which is a hero getting upgraded. Uh, here is going out of Mercury City in the Assembly Tower to the planet of Kortos, where of course Witch Doctor is. If you're ages 0 to 3, you shouldn't be building this because there is a choking hazard. www.legoclub.com And the actual size of the Hero Core, and if you watch my 2.0 reviews and my past reviews, uh, it is a little bit uh, bigger on the box, like by the little outline of it, but it's kind of hard to tell. You have to look very, very closely. You cannot see it on camera. You can only see it in person. And uh, the Hero Core always looks much bigger on the box than it really is, but that is the actual size, basically, besides the little outline, but <laughs> there's really hard difference there. And uh, if I didn't mention already, the H, which I think goes with their color, like Stormer's kind of grayish, kind of, I guess, like Raka's was gold. And the top, of course, has the H, the stackable containers, whoops, right here. Can stack them, which is very awesome. Um, okay, that's right. Uh, yeah, and that's the bottom. Just says nothing. Just says 2009 Lego Group copyright. So they probably made these in 2009. So that's good. Uh, yeah. So let's see what we got for our money, which is 7.99. Oh yeah, and under the lid you have the Creep Crushers code for Stormer. Maybe you can see it. It's 2145 dash capital F, capital W, 3, capital V, 7 dash 53. I already used it, so it may not work. Probably won't work, really. But you can try. So, let's dump out. That's what we got for our money. Um. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. Of course, we have our Hero Recon sticker. It says, ready to join. Hero Recon team has a unique silver chest piece, which I have. Yeah. And uh, it's my. Uh, I'm, I have seven of these now because I did make a Hero Recon guy, which you do get one. But it's nice to give out nice stickers, which you can put on binders and stuff. Here are the instructions. Um, Stormer has 31 pieces, the most pieces out of all the heroes. Um, I believe Rock had 30 or 29, one of them. I don't know, I forget. <laughs> um, maybe it shows his 
and they don't show his canisters on here. But um, of course, how to do the Creep Crushers code? They uh, they tell you more descriptive on here. Oh yeah, Stormer 3.0, 2145, H Stormer, and of course the Scorpios are on here. Um, the instructions, basically any instruction, they have an H in the background, and the background is kind of a palish green. Um, we have Stormer goes to 17 pages, Rockago went to 16, uh, as I do recall. Uh, yeah, and that's his final pose. All the pieces you used, you can build a comic at herofactory.lego.com. The combiner of T143 Rocka and T145 Stormer to get this cool looking guy, which the directions are online. The Hero Recon Team advertisement. And no advertisement since his book went, went one more page long. They, they keep all of them, I think, the same amount. But since his booklet was, like, all of the booklets are the same amount of pages, but since his instructions went one page longer, I think they didn't put in an advertisement for another villain and another hero. And then Lego Club in the survey, which I will do. Okay, so let's look at the new and old pieces. Um, so right off the bat, you're seeing a, a lot of kind of the blue pieces. The same hero core from his 2.0, but you see a nice assortment of blue pieces here. We have three Quasi Spikes, or they were, I think they are Quasi Spikes. That's what I always called them, but they look, kind of look like fins. So we'll just call them fins. So we have three blue fins, a blue hero core, and this blue head, which is a nice piece. Um, going a little off camera here. Hold on a second. Let me move all these pieces over here. Okay, there we go. So these pieces are all old, sadly. But. Yeah, so like Rocka. Rocka has the most new pieces. But we'll do old and new. Of course, the same skeleton here. That is an old piece, so here's our old pieces. Uh, should I like to arrange them? Sorry. Uh, there we go. These are the old ones. Um, then this is a new piece. This is like the paw or the fist. More likely a fist for Stormer. It was more of a paw for uh, Rocka, and uh, these there are uh, Marvel and DC superheroes coming out, which should look like uh, or use the same build as Hero Factory. And there's Hulk and Iron Man for Marvel, uh, and uh, Batman and Green Lantern for DC. But anyways, <laughs> uh, the Hulk uses these uses these fists in green, so that's just something to point out, and I will get those and review them. Not all of them, uh, I wish they had Captain America, because he is my favorite guy. And I did see the movie, and he, that was a good movie, I recommend it. Sorry, you're getting a little off track, but you should go see the uh, movie. Really, really good movie, R really worth your money. Uh, but, of course we have, Rocka was the only one, I believe, in the 2.0, or actually, no, Stringer. Yeah, well, Rock was the only one who only had two gray pieces. Stringer has three gray pieces, but everyone else has four gray uh, forearms and bottom of the legs pieces, which are all new. So, it's a lot more new pieces. So, um, basically, we have a count of five new pieces and six old pieces right now. And then we have two new Exo Force arms, which are in the dark. Uh, are in pearl and or kind of in a uh, gunmetal gray. These white pieces are old. The white feet are old, sadly. Um, so the number five white pieces are old. Uh, you know whose? Believe these number three. Yeah, the number three white pieces are old too. Put those up there. All of these. Uh, limbs here, the um, top leg and the top of the arm pieces, these are all, as you know, put all of those there, the Stormers, nice awesome rhino helmet, can look like a Trojan helmet too, is very new and very awesome, I love Stormers his helmet. If I got another one, I would find gold spray paint, or just find gold paint and paint it gold for like a Spartan helmet, and I would make an awesome mock. But, uh, I have to find pieces for that. 
I have to find an extra one. Of course, we have only one white hand, which is another old piece. And this piece is old, stark gray or pearlish villain core piece, or which people thought it was, which would be a good interpretation for the piece. But it, I'll just call it, we'll just call it the villain core since I don't know the name. Then we have, oh, I always picked that up at the wrong time. Uh, the darker, um, uh, kind of the gunmetal gray or pearlish torso piece. A lot of old pieces are in the Stormer set. You won't get anything new. Old white chest plate or extra armor piece. Another no old number three white piece. And the old torso white piece, which is used for armor. And finally, the last new piece, the Stormer 3.0 nameplate piece. No sticker. Uh, painted on or printed on. Has a rhino here, which looks cool. And it says Stormer 3.0. Very nice piece. So as you can see, a lot of old pieces. This is about how Rockas was, but switched around. Uh, if you watch my rock review, which ch please check it out, it's on my channel. It's anyways, so uh, yeah, a lot of cool new pieces though. The silver piece is very cool. Uh, I like the gray pieces; they work really good. This would be good for making a a nice gray mock. The extra force arms are always nice to have. Nice helmet, like I said, and then these nice pieces are always nice. And um, yeah, and I really like these new pieces too. They're really awesome, and the hollowness is good in them. If you uh, watch my rock review, I tell you, and I'll explain it again later. <laughs> you just have to wait. <laughs> so let's build him. I took up a lot of time. I don't know for some reason going through the pieces and stuff. But of course we have the normal skeleton here. Uh, for all of the heroes. Um, it's the same skeleton, which I like. Like I said in my other reviews, I just hope Hero Factory doesn't keep doing it, because then it'll get really repetitive. Like the ulti sets, possibly in 5.0, I really hope they, uh, that's true and they get a whole different look and stuff, because I don't want them to keep doing this. Kind of like the villains, I want them to look like the villains. I don't care if they get raised up, as long as they stop the repetitiveness of these. So, uh, that's the skeleton. And what I mean if you're, uh, like, I don't want them to keep doing the same butt builds, because then it'll get a little repetitive. They can change it up a bit, make them bigger. Still use the same parts like we use on the villains. Just change them up. So they don't get a little repetitive. So that's him with his feet. That's basically the skeleton. I forgot about the hand, which goes on his left. So Stormer's righty. Or he, he uses a weapon in his right hand. It's a nice skeleton. Okay, now. Um, I'm going to put together his weapon, which is really awesome. Uh, it's... You don't add anything on these sides, but you just take the Exoforce arms, clip them right on here. Very easy. Then you take the two fins, you attach them to here, and get some sort of weapon, which is more like a ice shooter or ice blades, which you can shoot out. Because energy will glow and shoot out something. That's what I imagined. Now I'm going to put his weapon on here. Very nice. Now we're going to put his uh, just his, um, body pieces together, right here, like that. That's how it looks, but I always put the hero core in last, as you know. Uh, I'll put this on later. <laughs> um, you just put this here, number five white pieces, just like that. Take his number three white pieces, pretty simple, no putting pieces on the sides. Which is really simple. Uh, Stormer's special green piece will go right there. Um, then his white, then the white torso piece, which is used as armor, like I said, will go there. But you should always put the number three piece on first for him, because it's then all it's just better. And it moves very, it still moves good. Still a lot of articulation there. Silver or metal chest piece on. Oh yeah, and I forgot his uh, his villain core piece. The pearlish one, or the gunmetal gray. Forgot about putting that on. <laughs> but that's how his weapon looks. Makes it look better, so it doesn't look too much like Raka's. Then we put on his other fin piece, which goes like this up there. Put on his head. Put on his animal-looking helmet, which looks like a rhino. And then finally, with the insertion of. Uh, Preston Stormer 3.0's Hero Core. 
He is done. That is Stormer. Really awesome set. Oh my gosh. You can, he just looks awesome. Uh, like, I was amazed uh, when I first opened the box and looked at his helmet. It just amazed me. I saw it. I was like, oh, wow. And I like the gray pieces look really good, too. Because he has gray in there. And I think the gray pieces really look really good with these sets. I don't think they really interrupt with the color scene. I actually think they look really good. <laughs> they just look really awesome there. The gray, the um, forearms and bottom of the legs really look good, too. Stormer's weapon's awesome. And the hollowness here works, like I said in my rocker, because you can attach stuff to the bottom of here. You can see there's a little lightsaber uh, connector this there you can put on. You can easily just put it right through and put it somewhere to make it look good. So this hollowness was good. This is they, they covered it all up, then you couldn't stick anything through. And they have to do that so people can make mocks out of them. So this hollowness is actually good. So don't think it's like, oh, not another hollow being cheap. They did this for a reason. The 1.0s, I don't know why they made them hollow really bad, but this was done for a reason. I really like this. Um, I believe Stormer may have the same body pieces as his 2.0. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I have to look at a picture, uh, but you, you will probably know if you're looking up Stormer. But um, playability, really good can do a lot of stuff with him. His weapon's awesome. It can curl up. What the only guy basically who can curl it up without having to put in a special pose to hide the blades. He can use it as a fist. So in my movie, you'll see he may curl his blades up and just start beating someone uh, with it. Um, but Stormer's really awesome. I really like it. And part of the reason why I really like him is because of the fist. I really like his weapon and the way they created it. Um, yeah. So, uh, posability is really good. You can make a lot of cool poses with him, like him turning his head, him doing this. A lot of the three point have really good poses. Uh, one of the only guys he, uh, Ferno doesn't really have a lot of good poses, I don't think. I haven't done a lot of poses with him, but I know Next does, and Next will be my next review. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching this review. Next will be the next one up. Um, so please comment, like, and subscribe, and, uh, I'll see you guys later.